I love playing with Spike. <laughs> Hi, Spike. No. Bye, Spike. Hey. <laughs> Ta -ta. Whoa, Jump on the cushion. Oh, goody. Why do I do these awful things? <laughs> Ouch. It's a dog's life, Spike. <laughs> Hi, little guy. So where's the brains of this outfit? I mean, Mungo, of course. Don't you know? Dooley the dog catcher colored Mungo. Dooley's a dog catcher. Mungo is a cat. Uh, word has it, Dooley ain't making his quota and he might get fired. If he keeps catching cats, he's gonna get worse than fired. Come on, let's go spring Mungo. Oh. Huh? <sighs> is he taking a rest? No, he's depressed. Follow me. <laughs> Hey, Cliff, what are you doing? We're getting you out. Uh, Jay, thanks, Heathcliff. Nice work, Heathcliff, but now you better get out of here before Matt gets you. Here he comes now. What is that? Hey, man, let's grab. Yeah, I'll hide in there. I'll pretend I'm a postcard. I am your replacement, the super mechanical animal catcher, but you can call me Mac. Turn in your net, X dog catcher. This is just a test, and you might lose, Super Mac. Negative. I am programmed only to win. No animal can escape from me. Observe. <laughs> First, the animal is detected. Second, the appropriate animal catching device is activated. Oof. Third, the animal is captured. Amazing for a bucket of balls. And now to capture every animal in the city. Well, there goes my job for sure. Ah! Wow, that was some dream. Splendid. A chance to test out my animal catching gloves. Whoa, I must still be dreaming. Somebody's gonna get it when I wake up. <laughs> Very good. Three at one time. Estimated time to capture. 30 seconds. Mungo was right behind us. He should be here by now. Cleaner. After I unload my prisoners, I will come back for you. Never mind. I'll save you the trip. Uh, 
Observe X, dog catcher. All of the animals have been captured. Minus one. Yes, but that one is going to save my job. Okay, Metal Mott. Now free my pals or else. Yeah! Yeah! You will pay for that. Take your best shot. As a civic duty, I'd better continue this discussion elsewhere uh, before Super Jerk destroys the street. Get in Dally. Perfect. There's an art to all of this. <laughs> What a gorgeous cat! Perfect. I will smash that cat through the wall. Now, what do you have to say, cat? Ha, ha, ha. Uh, offhand, I'd say, uh, one picture is worth a thousand words. Sucker! <laughs> yep, just like I figured. No appreciation for art. How about one more? A game of golf. Four! Uh oh. Aw, oh, too bad, Mackie. It looks like you lose. Again! <laughs> I was programmed only to catch animals and win. I have failed, therefore I must self destruct. Not so fast. You're gonna help me get my friends out. Oh, uh, let's see here. I can program you right. How do you feel now, pal? Terrific, he clipped. Knock off the mush. All you got to do is whistle, and I will obey your orders. Okay. Let's go! Hey! Let us out, Heathcliff! Yeah, I will. Or rather, he will. Thanks, Heathcliff! <laughs> Oh, Heathcliff? No, that mechanical maniac. The mayor just called and said Mac not only knocked holes in the sidewalk, but he pulled up a mailbox. That's a federal offense. We gotta get rid of him. I'll be glad to get him. I'll get him. If I want this done right, I'd better do it myself. Run, Super Mac! Whoa! Thanks, Heathcliff. You saved my job. Again. Whoa! But why, Cleo? Why would anybody want to dig up a junkyard? It's archaeology, Rip Raff. Archaeologists always dig up the ground to find relics of the past. Relics, huh? Looks like junk to me. They find a lot more than junk, Riff Raff. Now look at that skull. A saber-toothed tiger. What a creature! Millions of years ago, he was glorious. 
Looks like he lost some of his glory over the years. But I guess that's what old age does to you. You. If you were half as cool as you think you are. Oh, look. He's taking it to that tent. Oh, I wish I could see the archaeological stuff in there. Well, let's go then. They wouldn't allow it. They'd kick us out. Stick with me, sweetheart. I'll get us in there. But how? I told you. I live for the night. Be my guest. Now I'll show you what archaeology is all about. Not bad. Riff Raff, you're not being serious. Now look at this. This is what archaeologists are looking for. The missing link. Cleo, I thought the junk was a joke. But this? The missing link? It's dumb. Oh, Riff Raff, I should have known you wouldn't understand. What can I expect from a dumb, stupid, uneducated alley cat like you? So what's wrong with alley cats? You got no respect for history. You got no culture. You're a nobody. Well, Miss Hoity Toity, you may put me down, but alley cats have been around all through history. If it hadn't been for alley cats, there probably wouldn't be no history. Just the kind of stupid pride you'd expect from an alley cat nobody. You think archaeology is such a big deal? I'll show you archaeology. I'll show her alley cats are somebody. You're asking for trouble, Riff Raff. Oh. Riff Raff, are you all right? I'm fine. <laughs> Just fine. Riff Raff? We heard you call. Did somebody fall? Riff Raff's down there. You okay, Riff Raff? Yes, I'm okay. Oh! Oh, no! Goodbye, Riff Raff. What do you mean, goodbye? Let's go get him. So, she thinks I don't know about history, huh? Well, I know what this is. You are! Out of the way! It's Mongol! Yahoo! <laughs> wee! Wee! Yeah, that was fun! Look here, Cleo. Got something to show you. First these pictures, and then this. It's an ancient garbage can. And these are ancient alley cats. So, you proved your point. Don't rub it in. Could be the most important discovery ever. Archaeologically speaking, of course. Okay, so you win. I give up. Let's go home now. I'm an archaeologist now. I'm just getting warmed up. Oh, I should have never opened my mouth. Follow me, alley cat archaeologists, onward. Yeah, what are we looking for? Don't ask. Careful, these rocks are loose here. Huh. Now that Riff Raff thinks he's an archaeologist, we'll never get out of here. Huh? <gasps> Watch out! Cave in! Look over there! Look! Light! It's daytime! Look! Oh! Wow! We hit the archaeological jackpot! Did you ever see such a fish? Everything is like it used to be, millions of years ago. If that takes you back, take a look at this track. Here's a scene I can miss. We better not dally. Wouldn't want to meet this in some dark alley. Just what we're looking for. A cat. <clears throat> Come on. We got to see what kind of cats they got down here. Aha. Oh! The path leads to there. 
civilization. And there, down below, does it look familiar? It's a prehistoric junkyard. Yeah, it looks just like home. But does anybody live here? Glad you finally asked that question. I was coming to that. Of course, it's only a theory, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. We gotta do something. Wait, Cleo. Look there. Hooga, 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 hooga. Raw, 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 raw. It's him, the missing link, the prehistoric alley cat. But his girlfriend is in trouble. Oh, he's just making noise. Why doesn't he do something? He's just getting warmed up. Yep, yep, yep. Yee-ga! You go, Gaga. Nook-took. Magaro. Yuck-tum, yuck-tum. Why, Abu-fem, Raga-wala. Nuku? No, Gaga, me. Ogaro. Man, that tiger is slow. No wonder he got extinct. You showed him. Wonderful. Way to go. Muddled his brain. Drove him insane. Gold me, too. Nigo Rocka do. You're a pretty tough cat yourself. Goshum Gala. Regnag knock. Hatchum Gogaru. Noga Buck. Yog. And they always said I had a mouth. <laughs> Leo, over here. Professor, the water in the tunnels is unpredictable, not safe. We'll have to stop the dig. Just as well, Doctor. There's nothing down there anyway. Nothing but junk. Pure junk. They're never gonna find my missing link. They'd never believe it anyway, Riff Raff. <laughs> you and your prehistoric alley cat. But, but he invented the wheel. What do you mean, he? Are you trying to start another fight? She invented the wheel. Actually, they sort of did it together. Yaga booga hook tuk. <laughs> Heathcliff here with some good tips for all of you parakeet owners. Make sure your bird's cage is not in the path of a drafty window. Yeah! And of course, drafty doorways. If it's real cold, always move your bird away from the radiators or fireplaces before you light them. <laughs> 